a boycott for girls. It was past midnight. The train stopped at a deserted station. I got down, flung my backpack over my shoulder and looked around. There was no one around except a few coolies asleep on their trolleys. A street dog lying beside them got up and started barking at me. One of the coolies lifted his head, mumbled something to the dog, looked at me and said, Oh, sir ji, this place is not safe at night. Go into a retiring room. I took a deep breath and thought to myself, only if he knew I was a girl. Right from my school days, I always wore slacks and a loose shirt. I had to often travel alone all over the country to play tennis matches. And this outfit protected me. I also sported a short haircut known as the boy cut in those days. This look confused people and kept them guessing if I was a boy or a girl. Would you like to know how I got my short haircut? In those days, all my girlfriends prided themselves on their long hair. But maintaining my hair was too much work for me. No matter how tightly I pinned up my plates, sooner or later they would dangle in front of my face. One hot afternoon during a match, my long plates kept coming in my way, preventing me from concentrating on my game. I just could not take it any longer. I ran over to my parents who were watching the game and asked them if I could get my hair cut. They smiled and permitted me to do so without any arguments. I dropped my racket and ran across the street to the hairdresser's shop. The hairdresser was well known, but he happened to be a men's barber. He asked me what I wanted. I simply replied, a hair cut. He then did something that would send any other girl screaming. He held my plates and clipped them right off. He proudly dangled them in front of my face. They were wet and knotted with red ribbons tied at the ends. I can never forget the sight. He then gave me a hairstyle which I never knew would become a trendsetter. A boy cut for girls. I felt much more comfortable and could finally focus completely on my game. I realized later that a simple decision to cut my hair taught me to prioritize the different aspects of my life early on. It was more important for me to play a good game than to look good.